Hi right, everybody, welcome back to the Thunder 2004 career mode. Uh, we <laughs> had a pretty good start. Um, here's, here's, the, here's the standings after one race. Uh, Jarrett first, Rod second, Gordon third, Earnhardt fourth, Marlon fifth, us in sixth. That's right, we finished sixth in the day 2500. Kevin Harvick seventh, Bill Elliott eighth, Matt Kenneth ninth, Michael Waltrip tenth. Now granted, I don't really know how to like do like the management of this aspect, so me getting that high is probably not gonna matter. All right, we have North Carolina up next, The Rock. Um, uh, track that's actually no longer around. Uh, we have pretty much everything repairing, two races. Uh, which is probably fine anyway, because I think this is more of a short track thing anyway. Power range 52, this is going to go horrible. Let's get in there. All right, we're here at The Rock. Um, I actually saw what the limited assist did there for a little bit. Uh, it kind of, uh, well, we just spun out. That's great. Great start. <laughs> when we came out of pit road, I saw uh, one of the steering down there kind of glow up. So it must be some sort of like either steering assist or traction control or some bullshit. I don't know. It's not actually affecting me during the actual race, so it's just helping me come off pit road, which whatever. All right, 43rd. Yeah, we're probably going to qualify last from here on out. But hey, oh, we just smacked the wall, too. This has been a fantastic qualifying run. Could not ask for anything better. Oh, we're still hitting it. We did way better in practice, but I, I wasn't talking. Maybe that's what it is. I should just shut up and race, huh? I make it better. We're gonna need to turn that wheel all the way to the left. I like this camera angle quite a bit. I don't know how much you can actually see. Uh, that's pretty cool. Oh, uh, we need a better driver. <laughs> Imagine getting six in the Daytona 500 and then qualifying 43rd once you get actual level, an actual oval where you need skill. We're in Rockingham, North Carolina, home of the North Carolina Speedway for today's race, the Subway 400. What can you tell us about this track, Barney? Tires, tires, and more tires. You've got to take care of your Goodyear Eagles when you come to this place. Otherwise, you'll be sliding up into the wall before you know it. Michael Waltrip joined DEI at the start of the 2001 season and got a win in his very first race for his new team. He followed that up with some very impressive runs at the restrictor plate tracks. He's always had a knack for drafting and with top-notch equipment, you'll be sure to see him up near the front. Way back in 1976, Bill Elliott made his first Winston Cup start here at the Rock earning himself $640. He finished 33rd that day. Today, the 33rd place finisher will bring home over 40,000 bucks. NASCAR sure has come a long way, hasn't it? The 86 car has had some run-ins recently with Kevin Harvick. You know, a little contact now and then is to be expected. The track gets crowded real quickly when you put 43 cars out there. I wouldn't be too worried about it. or two car out there in second that's crazy to me for the start. all right so start starting last 39 laps you can probably do 39 laps. this is about as much of an arca race isn't it Sorry, i kind of know this track anymore i actually used to really like this track on the 03 and play this one i did 100 percent race here one time on back in uh back in the day to keep the tires in good shape to be it was the only time i ever did one. i took like three breaks because you know it took forever that was like I, I wasn't very old. <laughs> um, my attention span was probably just shit. Now I know it's mostly from Arca uh, and I racing. It's a lot bumpier in that, in that, but you know, it is what it is. I actually gained a little bit on the exit here. It looks well, maybe not. Well, maybe so. I don't know. Maybe that limited assist is helping me a lot. I, I don't know what's really going on. I don't think we can catch them. It's, it looks like a foregone conclusion that they're going to pull away. Maybe we can spin out again and get another caution. We didn't spin out the first time. We kind of... I don't know what happened that first race, but hey, it worked out. If we can just get like another, another one of those, like a lucky caution at the right time, that'd be great. How 
are we catching up? There we go. I saw the steering. I saw something pop up on the sis blip there. The sis blip. That <laughs> thing. I don't feel too bad about taking assist because I mean, let's be honest with you. If you're in automatic transmission, aren't, isn't that also an assist? And we're kind of in fourth the whole time. Uh, but like you don't have to hit it. Pick up about eight seconds off the leader. I'd be better not though, to be honest with you. You could actually kind of get a better restart. Be hard to remember though. And we're actually hanging out with these boys a little bit. More than I thought we were ever gonna do here. Uh boy. I don't think we can strategize though because uh i'm sure this is just eating my tires a little bit all right now get hungry Greg we Biffle need to eat rookie jesus right <laughs> um ow hey this is going pretty well though uh we might be able to get somebody oh boy we're good don't worry about it what was the 60 car? Ant and Barrett? Who the fuck are you? Alright, well, later. I think we just lost everybody with that little spin move I just did there. Your right front tires. I bet it is. Oh, they, they break really hard there in the turn one. I mean, I do too, but I slide everywhere. Like, I gain a lot of time at the entry, and then we get to the exit, and I'm like 90 degrees compared to everybody. We just don't have a car that can compete, I don't think. Well, let's get some strategy. Easy, buddy. We're catching up actually a little bit. We have a long run car here? I did not mess with the setup at all, so just. Oh, I have nowhere to go. It's gonna be bad. Back out, back out, back out, back out, back out. This is. That was a bad situation to be in. That's gotta be like a traction control or something, because I was losing it there. Actually, this game kind of plays better with assists, I think. Um, Got one outside. We're good. <laughs> Clear. Yeah, I don't know. The oh, that guy just smacked the wall. That was great. I don't know how much the limited assist has really helped me, because I literally have only seen it come on twice. Right rear's getting more. Keep an eye. Again, we're also hanging out with these guys a lot better than I would be if I wasn't. So I don't know. I guess that's the answer. Right. Off another Some dive bomb in here. Hold your line. You still there? Be patient. Clear on both sides. Off go, 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 go. We should be able to get him here. Way to get ready, buddy. Clear all around. And then we just fucking blew the wall. We're in the wall. And we're coming right back down on the track. Hell yeah. Oh, we're going back into the wall. Oh, yeah. All right. Now it's looking like a 2004 career mode. Here comes the leaders. Uh, and, and of course, look who it is. The guy that caused all the problem. Well, yeah, I guess he didn't cause it. Kyle Petty did. We're holding them off. I don't want to go a lot down. Number 20 is about to put you in. No. Come on, Mark. Get up here. The 20 car is outside. Oh, we missed. 20. Oh, we missed. <laughs> well. Got one down left. There's some pit stops. That's interesting, I guess. Right? Maybe there's just some fuel game we can play here. Again. 
especially if we get some shared draft going. But we only have to pit once, I think. Cause we're, I'm gonna come in at lap 21 or something. That's the one time I'm pitting this whole race. I should probably move the hat backwards so you can actually see my face, huh? Back into the wall again. We got some cars leaving pit road ahead. Yeah, we do. You're clear. Mark's doing the same thing I'm doing, staying out until we run out. Sucks, I want my lap back. Oh, I did, I cannot turn. Car inside. Oh. No need to retaliate now. Alright, we're good. We're on both sides. Back her up, back her up, back her up, back her up. One more. Can we go one more? What was the last message that popped up? Alright, we're going one more. This is not the right thing to do, but it's the thing we're doing. If we have to, we'll take out. Oh, yeah. This is the last lap. Number 45, up high. We will take out Kyle Petty. I mean, he kind of. Oh. I guess he kind of helped us. It doesn't feel like he helped us, you know? 45 car, it's up high. Right, back it up, back it up. I don't even know where pit road entry even is. Be patient. You're clear. Go easy on those eagles, driver. Oh, oh we're in trouble. trouble. That wasn't the goal. But whatever, we'll take it. <laughs> that wasn't what we were trying to do. But it is what we end up doing. So I guess we'll 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 we'll, we'll, we'll accept it. So the long journey down, down to the end of the Marvin, that come in? The crew guys are up on the wall. Out. This is a scheduled stop, or is there is a problem? I feel like there's only like two people coming in, and we're also still not out of gas. Alright, look, see, did we lose that Robbie Gordon back there? Hell yeah. This actually <laughs> might have worked out again. We might have some people trapped down, a lap down, right? Trapped down, a lap down, that's what I just said. Sometimes I just talk too fast, you know? You know how it is. I think there's some people trapped. If we didn't have repairs, that'd be an 18 second stop or something. The leader paces the field back. I might have been Rika Craven. B34, alright. They head down to turn number one. Car in the back. I ain't horrible. Their way back up to the front. With our one pit stop or one lap down, the leader will have to come in. We don't. These guys are all lap down. Try behind you. They're on both sides. Oh, that sucks. Oh yeah, dude. I think we're gonna get P34. Oh, uh, they about wrecked behind me. All right. Uh, lap 34 here. Quick, uh, quick action update. There hasn't been any. Uh, this has been your action update. <laughs> uh, I guess we're kind of captured. We were, I don't know. We're just kind of here. <laughs> Be between LePage and Mears. LePage isn't even a spot. So we kind of get close to him and then we kind of fall back because I don't know how to make turns when I just get the game of speed here. Right here, I don't know how I... Uh, maybe it was the tires warming up because you know I brought down the tire pressure and I was sliding everywhere. Now I'm kind of not. Halfway on fuel, huh? There's six laps to go. Right front tires wearing. I have no. I O2 is a spot. I have no idea. Who is O2? Who is that? I have no idea how this is gonna work. For Hermie Sadler, huh? Remember you. I have no idea how this is gonna work. For uh, for fuel for what? Why are we? Why are we loose? Okay, that was weird. Uh, car just decided to turn left. I mean, I know you're a NASCAR, but come on, man. Number forty-one. Up high. You're clear. Anyway, I don't know if they can even make it on gas. I, they must be able to. If we have white flag, they're gonna make it. They may blow up. Usually one or two cars blow up. We should probably just let these guys go. They're not for position. Don't hit me. I'm okay. I don't even know who you are. Next time. Alright, looks like a P34 finish to me. gone way better 
I uh, would have imagined. Hey, at least we're finished. Hell yeah. Take that. Last car, one lap down. Hell yeah. All right, so checking out the race stats. Kurt Busch won this race. Bobby Labonte second. Elliott Sadler third. Robbie Gordon fourth. Brett Brodine fifth. Wow. Mark Martin sixth. Ricky Red seventh. Junior eighth. Kevin Harvick ninth. Sterling Marlin tenth. Junior struggling to, to uh, qualify this year. Uh, we have 188 now in the bank. I don't know if we can do anything with that right now, but that's that's good to know. All right, so we're going to do one more for you. We got uh, Las Vegas race here. We're just going to quick select. We're going to have one part of everything anyway, and uh, we're going to get right into it. All right, Viva Las Vegas. Uh, I mean, this is kind of just an ancient power track, I guess. Uh, wow, we just didn't turn. <laughs> anyway, I was thinking we could almost go. We didn't practice at all. Practice is for chumps. Um... This video isn't too long. I'm, I'm trying to do two two races of video. In my head that works. I I don't really know. I guess it depends what happens in the races, huh? That last race is kind of a weird one because there was like a. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this has been not how I really pictured the start. I thought we were gonna be like getting lapped and lap three. I feel like that's what usually happens on these Thunder 04 career modes. I don't know, that Daytona race kind of messed everything up. Not the Kyle Penny and Tony Stewart for doing that. I don't know why we're so much faster at Rockingham. We got a provisional we can use. Damn yeah, right we do. We even get provisionals back then. NASCAR Winston Cup Racing has hit the jackpot this week as we come to Las Vegas Motor Speedway for today's UAW Daimler Chrysler 400. What kind of thing should we look for in this one? I think we'll see lots of green flag racing in this one. The track is wide and smooth and there are multiple grooves to work with here. Sometimes the cars can get very spread out on this one. Mike Skinner is still looking for that elusive first Winston Cup win. The two-time NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series champion has not had the success in NASCAR Winston Cup. That was expected from him. But that entire team is looking to turn that around this year and get back to the elite of NASCAR teams. That car of Elliott Sadler sure is something else, isn't it? Yeah, it's definitely got one of the most interesting paint schemes in all of NASCAR. You certainly don't have any trouble picking him out on the racetrack, and that's what a sponsor is after. Damn Kenny fucking Wallace again, guys. On the pole. On the pole. Starting out front off. Dude, that stack of two cars. Powerful. Alright, Las Vegas, here we go. Uh like I said, I feel like there's a lot more engine power than anything else. We did make some adjustments so we can actually fucking turn into the goddamn corner here. Uh just a couple wedge. I actually added some uh rear spoiler to turn. Get some more downforce. I don't know if it'll work, but I don't know, so. I don't know, we're gonna be pretty slow here, I think. If they fight like that, hey, we might be able to do something. Ooh, there's a bit of a check up there, I think. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe, I'm, maybe I might be. I might. Uh, I might be just drunk and thought there was one. We're like just on the range of being able to share draft just to lose it five seconds later. You can kind of cut the corner here. Oh, hang on. Gain in here a little bit. Who's the slowest car out here? I mean, I know Kyle Petty's not very fast. Easton Mir's a rookie. He's not going to be very quick. I don't even remember if he was in the 43 car. Fit the Pedetta about whatever the fuck. I recognize the name. I don't recognize the guy. Uh... I imagine he'd be pretty slow. Dinner, probably be slow. 
don't even know who this this turd guy. Oh, that's the page. I mean, he just back. Field. I'd rather have him be behind the pack than be in front of it. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Oh, car just like didn't turn. That was weird. I think the car turned right there. Very strange. This is not cars a video game. You cannot turn right to go left. Come on. The four car the match. Yeah. Hey, we I thought we were gonna come rob us from that. We didn't. Something like indented in my car and I could have sworn it undented itself right after. <laughs> we have no damage. I think the tires like lock up going left. Showing it time. I don't even know how to describe it. You ever take a bike? Like, a, like you're riding on the bike and you quickly just kind of like turn it left. And your tire just kind of gets stuck that way. I feel like that's what this car is doing whenever I brake. That's halfway on gas, so this is going to be a pretty standard race, I think. Went around lap 15-ish, probably. This car is getting tight and loose at the same time. This is like the worst possible feeling. I don't know how we managed to be loose and tight, but it is what it is. And then there's like, uh, other guys that I don't know, like the one without the portrait. I think, uh, Chase Montgomery is one of them. I imagine I might be faster than those guys. Someone's in pit road. Oh, early. Oh, wow. There's a lot of pit stops. Hang on. Is this the pit window already? Let's see if something stupid happens. Okay, all right. Terry Labonte is in. I know that. Steve Park, I think. Or is it Jeff Green? Who's it? Who's? Who's in the one car? Probably Steve, right? I think it's Steve. I think this is the Pocono year. Where they were him and Junior both crashed in that Pocono. Maybe not. I could be completely wrong. I don't know. This is bullshitting. I just know moments in history. I was, again, I was fucking nine when this game came out. I was fucking less than that. How old? Cars coming this game would have come out in, in 2003. I'd have been seven. Yeah. I think I, I think I would have been seven years old. He said we're in our pit window. We're going to go one more lap. All right, we're going to come in this lap right now. Uh, can I split in the race down the middle here? Maybe something dumb happens. I don't know. I want to probably change the tire pressures a little bit. I don't really know if it will help, but this car is fucking wonky. So I wish I could either decide to be loose or tight. And it's not really deciding either. It's kind of just kind of doing whatever the fuck it wants. All right, where's pit road here? The four car, the pass. Uh, there it is. Uh, let's go down to 22. Maybe, maybe get a little more grip on it in the tires. I don't know. <laughs> Fucking announcer. This is the race within the race. <laughs> Love it. The crew jumps over the ball and begins to service this machine. This is their opportunity to shine. They can't make any mistakes here. Get into your routine. I love the color commentator here. To everyone in the building, not talking about all the other cars, just mine. Damn right. Oh, Leo's right there. I was about to fucking merge right into the leaders. Go, Junior, go. There's Tony. Who's that? Marlon? You're clear. All right, they're coming in. All right, oh, uh, that was one car that came in. That's neat. Uh, will we get some spots here, maybe? No one blown up yet. Right, we get some spots right there, but we didn't. This car does feel a lot better. Holy shit, does it feel way better? I don't know if it's just because it's fresh tires or. Oh no, they did come in. I don't know if it's just because it's fresh tires or uh, the tire pressure, but it feels great grip. We're still a little loose, but at least we're not like super tight right now. Right now, I should say. Kind of on exit, but this is a wide enough track. We can get we can get by with it. 
We're the only car lap down. How that happen? Car Is that slow in pit road? No. Well, that's a load of shit. That's gripping way better. Gripping Nike like a like a nice pussy. What did I just say? Ooh, ooh, a little loose, a little loose, a little loose. All right, all good. Okay, we're clear. We still have a 52 car, I know. Be a little loose. I realize Ryan Newman also kind of shares his paint scheme a little bit. Again, inverted. I thought we had a good fucking strategy and everything to split the race in half. And... Oh. <laughs> Doesn't look like it now. How did we cycle out in 43rd after all that? That is crazy to me. So, I'm about to mention one problem that I've had with a lot of EA NASCAR games here. That, and it's kind of just racing games in general. But it's very prevalent in these games. All clear, buddy. Uh, they like never wreck. The AI will never wreck in this game. I swear to God. When they do, it's always something stupid. But I guess you could argue that's the case in real life too. But still, like a caution that would be kind of interesting right now. No, you have to you have to be physically involved with the caution or cause it. And that's, that's just kind of the way it is in these games. The same way in 06, same way in 03, probably the same way in fucking 7, never played 7. 7 on the 360, I think it was. Oh, it was kind of the same way on the fucking New Technics games that were fucking mid as hell. There's someone blowing up. I was waiting for that to happen. Who is that? Oh, that's Jeff Gordon. That's huge. That is huge, my dude. That's a championship leader. That's a contender. All clear, buddy. Holy shit. There it comes. Is that Mike Skinner? I think I see Mike Skinner up there. It's the yellow dot that you can barely see. The tires are getting a little worn here. I don't think we'll have to come back in. Don't hit the wall. God damn it, we hit the wall. I just said don't hit the goddamn wall. I gotta say, this game's way fucking better in 60 frames than it was when I was trying to emulate it with uh I don't even care that it looks uglier. It just feels way better. And we're gonna get P42, I think. Unless someone dies and Skinner just fucking you know, is Mike Skinner things, I guess. Why are we two laps down now? Your left front tire's a little worn. You didn't get past twice. What? All right, white flag. I don't see another car peeling off in the pit road, which sucks. I don't think we're getting to Mike Skinner, though we're getting kind of close. I don't think we have enough time to do it. We're getting the white flag right now. White flag, next time by. Oh no, we, we have the white flag right now because the leader is behind us. Damn, a little longer race, we probably could have gotten uh, Skinner up there. It's cool though. Low fuel, that's interesting. Be careful, you're using up those tires. Hard side. Well. 342 for this one. That's about what we. That's that's more realistic what we expected. Our expectations are being met now. Fancy land might be over, but hey, we finished the race. That's a big deal to me. We'll take that. We'll take that. That was confusing. Tony Stewart with the win. Uh. The yellow. And Jeff Gordon isn't coming around. <laughs> that's good news. That's kind of a boring race. So here's your results: Stewart, Jarrett, Earnhardt Jr., Rudd, Harvick, Newman, Labonte, Johnson, Jimmy Johnson. Hey, this is like a uh, really early Jimmy too. Rusty Wallace, Sterling Marlin. Of course, there's you no. Know, if it was a couple years later, then we expect Jimmy Johnson to be first place every time. But it is what it is, man. All right, so quick look over the standings here. We got Ricky Rudd in first place. Dell Jarrett second. Dell Jr. third. Labonte fourth. Kevin Harvick fifth. Sterling Marlin sixth. Mark Martin. Uh, seventh, Newman, ninth, eighth, rather, Elliott, ninth, Kurt Busch, tenth. I don't know where we are right now. Here's everybody else. We're 25th. We're hanging in there. We're above good old Kenny who keeps fucking getting the pole. Next race is at Atlanta. Oh, God, Darlington. Then we got Bristol after that. I remember that. that. Sounds horrible, but I think we got our engine back. So that's good. Good. A good shit. Right? No? Oh, we didn't get our chassis back. Uh, we ain't we ain't getting shit back. Never mind. I thought we got something back right away. Uh, must be that I was thinking. Of. Okay. Oh, biggie. 